It's Elizabeth from The Toy Hoarder. Today I am back with another Lightyear toy. Guys, this is one of the 12 inch figures. It is called Space Ranger Gear Buzz Lightyear. He is in his orange suit here and he comes with several different accessories. It says seven mission ready pieces. So I guess he has seven accessories. It looks like a helmet, a vest, a belt, uh, a laser type thing a cuff, which is maybe some sort of communication device, and some boots. I'm guessing they count each boot as a separate accessory, which is a little bit ridiculous, but okay. All right, I'll allow it. I mean, I guess it, it would be, I mean, you wouldn't have one boot. I don't know. Anyway, that's in there. He does actually have boots on right now, but maybe they just don't come off. These are like a, like boot armor covers or something. So, this is made by Mattel for ages three and up. I'm gonna show you guys the box here. Sorry about the glare, but don't worry, I will get them out and show you everything up close, of course, and all of the features and articulation, etc., etc. If you need to pause the video to read anything, please feel free to do so, but I am not going to read all of this to you right now. Here's the other side of the box and the top. All right, guys, in order to get this open, there are two pieces of tape along the side, so you're gonna cut those two, and now you can slide out the cardboard and plastic tray that are inside of here. Once that is free, it looks like we don't actually have any rubber bands, eye tags, tea tags, anything of that sort in here. Everything should just pop out super simple, and even this plastic tray comes all the way out. I'll show you guys the background. It looks like kind of one of those light speed blast things that's happening here. So it's kind of a cool background. I'm probably not going to keep it because it doesn't do too much for me, but if you guys are planning on putting it on display, especially if you're collectors and things like that, you may want to do that. Maybe your kid also will want to play in it. I don't really know. I'm not your kid playing in it, but play with the toys in it is what I meant. Don't be weird, guys. All right. Anyway, let's get this out. I will pop them out real quick and then I'll show you everything up close. Okay guys, there actually is a rubber band. It is super hard to see in here, but it is a clear rubber band that is right across this white piece right here. It connects just underneath his arms in the back. So if you can cut it from the back, that's probably easier. I don't know if it'll stretch enough to cut it from the front, but that's what I'm gonna attempt, I guess. Okay, good, it does stretch a little bit. I don't know how well you guys can see this, but I, it stretches enough that I can get my scissors underneath it to cut it. Okay, I was wondering why I couldn't get buzz out. Got him! Freedom! Look at this, like, stack of plastic and cardboard already, and I only opened one toy. Like, absolutely ridiculous. Okay. It should flatten down for the recycling later. It'll be fine, right? Okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alright. Well, I will tell you, the first very disappointing thing right here... This guy's got stickers on him, and they are terrible stickers. This very main decal is actually a sticker. You can see mine's already scratched, and I literally just took him out of the box. I don't know what he even got scratched on, I guess at the factory, but the sticker is not on right. It's coming off. It's got these wrinkles in it. It's one of those ones that goes over a surface that's not flat, so it's not going to stay on well. It's just going to scratch off and peel off and be a problem. It's also going to make it difficult to clean. I'm very unhappy that they put a sticker here. The one above it, the little Space Ranger logo, is actual paint. That's good. That's what we should have had. But for whatever reason, we have, like, McDonald's toy sticker, and I don't know why, but that's... What? Dustin! Sorry about that, guys. I have a, one of those Alexa devices that started randomly talking to me, and I don't know what I was saying. It was very creepy. Okay. Anyway, so right off the bat, I'm very upset about that particular sticker, but I'm going to try to get over that. 
and tell you about the rest of this figure. So first I'm going to show you everything up close so we can see we've got a pretty good mold on the face here and the hair, lots of texture detail. He does have his little dimple, which in the cartoon version, of course, is a little spiral, which is kind of cool. We've got some textural detail of different folds and things. It looks like we've got some decent articulation in here, and of course I will go over that in a minute. There's not really a whole lot of color on the back of this vest, which I'm kind of surprised about. We do have this one hose that is colored, and then that's kind of it. And the same thing with the front. We don't have any of the color within the rivets and things like that. And the jumpsuit is all solid orange, except for the actual joint pieces are gray. And then we've got gray gloves and gray boots. So interesting. The boots are not removable. Okay, so I don't think that anything on him right now is actually removable. This is as far down as that goes. He does stand up on his own, so that's cool. And then he comes with some other accessories. These little boot covers are actually little covers. They're open in the back. They remind me of like a, like a Barbie boot type thing, except instead of just the slit, we do actually have the whole back open. So that should be nicer. It should go on nicer. It's very squishy, kind of like a silicone type thing. I mean, I can like roll and twist it. Not that that's what that's made for. I'm just telling you that's the kind of texture that we're getting here with this. Then we can attach it. It's strange because it doesn't look like it quite goes to where his knee is, but I guess it has to go a little bit below it. Otherwise, maybe it would get caught in the joint. I don't know, you guys. It's a little bit odd looking, but there he is with his boots. Well, with his boot covers, I guess. Armor? I don't I don't know. Then he's got this cuff piece, and it... Goodness. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So the cuff piece comes off, and you have to kind of pop it up. So here's the line where it comes apart, and there's a hole where this rectangle is. So it's a knob. You pull the piece up and over, and that's how you attach it. So hopefully you guys can see that decently. I'm sorry, I'm trying to... There we go. So there's your attachment right there. So now you can get it apart and you can put it on his wrist. And I believe this is supposed to be like the wrist communicator type thing that he talks to Star Command with. Oh, it's really hard to get on his wrist, guys. It's a pretty tight fit. Maybe it's not for the wrist, maybe it's for... No, it can't be for an ankle. I don't know. I sort of got it attached. It's very difficult to do because we've got the glove piece sticking out. So his glove has this edge here, so it makes it very difficult to attach this wrist communicator. It doesn't look like I did it right, so I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I was supposed to put that somewhere else. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, you guys. Note here, his arms right here are actually apparently different sizes, so if you put the wrist communicator on his left arm and you start it just above where the gov glove cuff is, then it will fit appropriately. I'm trying to show you where it connects. See, now it looks nice and fits how it should, and I don't know exactly. I guess that's probably the underside of the arm or something. But for whatever reason, his underarm on the right is, I guess, more muscly, so it doesn't fit. It's really kind of strange, though, because if this was aimed towards some of the younger kids, they're not gonna necessarily know which arm they're just gonna be trying to put it on an arm and they're gonna be really frustrated that it doesn't go on the right arm like why not why are they not pretty much the same mold it's super weird it shouldn't matter which one it goes on it should fit on both of them i think it's super weird that it doesn't either have the same arms so that they both fit or it's a little stretchy so that it would fit on either i think it's really odd i mean i guess it's kind of a small complaint but this is bugging me a little bit so i don't know let me know if that's something that bothers you guys. All right, here's the belt. It is also flexible, but it seems a little sturdier, or maybe just because it has some thicker pieces of plastic in it with it, but it does the same kind of thing that the wrist communicator does with a little plug here. So pull this piece up, and there's the plug. So that's how that attaches. So now I can add his belt for his gear and stuff. Again, a little difficult to get on here. This is going to be really hard for some of the smaller kids. I want to say this toy was for ages three and up, but it is kind of difficult to get these accessories on. The boot covers weren't bad, but 
The wrist communicator and belt are a little more difficult. Although if you're giving this to a younger kid, you can add those pieces as a parent. Uh, you can add those pieces on before you give it to your kid and then that won't be an issue. They'll be able to take the little boots on and off. And this one should be pretty simple. This accessory thing it would be really cool if it lit up or something, but it is actually clear on the inside. So I'll show you this up close. This is kind of cool, you guys. Here's what this one looks like. Trying to keep my face out of it so it'll focus. Okay. And there's a lot of detail even in these little boot covers, all the side details. Looks very techy and futuristic, so that's kind of cool. And then we've got the helmet piece. So there's what we're looking at for that, and I'm going to attempt to attach it. Alright, here we go. Hopefully this will actually work out. I don't really know how this attaches. Oh, there we go. Oop, I got him looking sideways before I attached it, so that's... Oh, hey guys, the vest might come off. It actually does come apart right here. Okay, the vest does come off. Oh, cool, okay. So now I can take the vest off, which is good, because honestly, this piece is going to get ruined anyway because of this sticker, but it is four pegs on each of these little nodes. Hopefully you can see that. And then they go into those four holes. So you put it around each side of his body, and then... Just click it together. So I took it off and now you can see that he actually has Lightyear printed on his well, name tag of his jumpsuit as well as a little icon here. And this icon is actually painted so we're good. So that's cool. So now we can kind of put him in a slightly different outfit. I like that because I'm really just not impressed by this. I don't, I really wish they painted that on. I'm actually kind of tempted to just take the sticker off now and paint it myself. But I don't know. Maybe they'll come out with a better, a better version of it and I'll just, uh, swap the ones that I end up getting. Oops. All right. So, oh, I guess I can probably only attach his helmet when I put this vest on. All right. I'm going to leave that off for right now and show you all of his articulation. He does have a full ball joint in the head, and this is a nice loose joint that is not too loose, but it does have a good range of motion here. So we've got the up, down, all the way around. That's a full ball joint there. We've got the up, down, all the way around, full ball joint in the shoulder, full ball joint in the elbow, twistable joint in the wrist. It's probably not bendable because we have this wrist communicator device. What do we got in the waist? We got a full 360 degree twist in the waist, but not a bend. And then we've got, looks like a full ball joint in the thigh as well. Look at this, goodness. Ah, all right. Full ball joint in the knee. I'm <laughs> while I'm twisting this, my boot cover is coming off. Okay. Goodness. Goodness. Alright, and then we've got a twistable joint right where the top of the boot meets the pant leg. So there's not actually a joint in here for the toes to go up or anything, but that's probably for the best because it'll stand easier. And I, I'm assuming this toy was made for some of the smaller kids. It wasn't necessarily a collector toy. I think it was for smaller children to help hang on. If you have the smaller kids, I would probably go with the bigger 12 inch type scale figures rather than the five and seven. It's probably easier for them to handle and play with. All right, put this back on so you can put the, so I can show you how to put the helmet on. So, arms up, buddy. All right, he's been vested. <laughs> put his, hel his helmet, or sorry, put his head forwards. Now, for the helmet, there's a little box in front that's probably some kind of speaker device type thing or how he breathes or something like that. Anyway, that goes in the front of his face. The back piece has the slightly longer part that would otherwise cover his face. So you need to do that. You line it up just right and it should click in. There we go. So I hope you guys were able to hear the click. I'm not sure how well that picks up on my camera speaker, but it does click in and it looks pretty cool with his helmet on. So I guess I have to, oh, I have to keep the vest if I want his helmet. I don't know. I think I'm just going to paint the, the 15 on it or something. I don't know. I, I'm so disappointed. I would have rather them even put the sticker of the wings than this one, just because it's it's so difficult with stickers that are on uneven surfaces. They kind of cut some slits so it would bend, but it just didn't. It's just not nice. And they didn't give us the sheet of stickers so we could put it on nicer. They just sort of did it however the assembly line do it, and it was it was it didn't turn out great. I don't know, Mattel. 
what happened, guys. Okay, other notes about this. There is actually textural detail of stitching on his suit, which I think looks really cool. But I honestly, like, as, as cool as he looks with the helmet and everything, I think I, my favorite look is actually him with just this jumpsuit on. And I'm not sure why, and I don't mind the belt either. That's kind of fun. You can have him pretend to have all these other accessories and different fun things in there. The boots are fun. I like that they go on super easy. I think it's difficult probably for the three plus younger range to do things like the vest, the wrist cuff, and the belt. But I do enjoy them. I feel like the wrist cuff belt and covers of these shoes are actually a pretty nice material. I'm impressed with the quality of those. As far as just Buzz himself, he is a thin, hollow, uh, cheapy plastic. He's what most of these toys these days are made out of. It's about what you would expect. It's not a collector quality. It's definitely a kid's toy. And the same thing with these other accessories as well, but somehow, somehow the nicest pieces of these, nicest quality at least that it feels like, are these extra accessories, which is kind of interesting and different. Now, you can have the helmet without the vest, but it will kind of just flop around and be a little bit odd, so your best bet is to keep that vest with you. But I am kind of worried about this vest piece. It is super thin plastic, and because it comes off the way it does, and it is curved like this, I'm so worried that kids are going to accidentally break it, you know, or it gets stepped, in, stepped on, it gets pulled, and, and I'm, I'm bending it a little bit to see, you can see how flimsy it kind of is already. I'm not going to bend it any further because it will just snap right apart. And once you break the vest, now you can't use the helmet. And so that is super concerning. If you've got the younger ones, you might want to take those pieces away until they get a little bit older and are able to handle playing with it with him. But he still looks cool without those pieces too, so it's not bad for the younger ones. On the back of him, he does have some printing here. It does say Disney Pixar 2021 Mattel. So I guess this was a 2021 copyright toy, which is interesting because I don't think we got any of them until 2022, but I guess that's when they made it and then they just had everything ready. I'm not sure. All right, I wanna know what you guys thought of this toy. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you have it? Are you planning on getting it? Is it for you? Is it for a collector? Is it for a kid? Also, if you enjoyed the content that you saw today and you haven't had a chance yet, please do click that red subscribe button down below. That's completely free for you guys to do, but it really helps support us and encourages us to keep posting awesome videos like this one on the channel. So we really appreciate you taking a moment of your time to do that right here. And then of course you can hit the thumbs up to leave a like. You can hit the notification bell after you've hit subscribe if you want to get notified of our videos and you can go check out our channel. We've got plenty of other toy reviews, collectible reviews, games, puzzles, all sorts of stuff on there. Anything fun is fair game for the channel and especially some different educational stuff too and books. So it's been kind of expanding to fun things, a few artsy things, a few toy mods, things of that sort. So if that kind of thing interests you, hit that subscribe and notification bell and go check out our channel. Be sure to join us again soon and until next time, have a great time playing. Bye.